It is Friday. We made sure that baby Eloise was out of the way of the vacuum cord today. All right, we're going outside. All right, finally got the replacement part back. Dennis and I are going to mount that tonight. And then the gym will be looking pretty darn good. All right, what are we going to do outside? Are we going to go down La La Lane? Yeah. All right. She loves it. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Lindell? Bright out? I don't want to have water. Oh, yeah, it's in the house. You want bear? You want to share with bear? You want your own? Bear, can Lindo have a sip of your water? Be careful. And go. Watch out for the poop. All right, go. You need help? I think you can make it. Try it. Keep going. Nice. Yay. Yay, bear. Yay, Lindo. Do you get robo calls? I've gotten like three robo text messages. Yeah, but I haven't gotten any calls. I get probably three or four a day. Every day. I just want to know who, like, who's still falling for these that they're still working. I, th I think senior citizens, honey. They're they're actually. Yeah, I see it I on the news like all the time. Well, I know that's what I'm saying. I feel like it's all over the news that you shouldn't give out personal information to. But the thing is, the weird thing is, the the robo calls I'm getting like nobody's there. Like if I have ever answered one, it's there's nobody there. Weird. You're just like you just hear a click. Huh. And weird. then if you call it back, it's almost always the same. Like. I don't, like some getaway, nubby, that nubby, cruise nubby, ship nubby, getaway nubby, thing nubby, that you won. That sounds nice. Maybe I should have pursued that. Yeah, maybe you should answer. You gonna touch him? Say, nice to meet you, Mr. Bear. Bear? Say, nice to meet you, Mr. Bear. <laughs> that is a big truck. Did you guys know that Mama E and Jeepa drive a truck like that? You don't want to, you don't want to drive in it, Bear. Yeah, Mama E and Jeepa. Aw, that was really sweet, Bear. What? You're gonna fall down again? Cause you want Bear to help you up. Help her up, Bear. Aw, that was sweet. Oh. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, help her up again. Come on. Good job. All right. All right. Let's go the other way. So I bought this jacket when I was pregnant with the twins because in South Carolina it was getting cooler it was like 60. yeah and it was cold and i needed something that would fit over my belly and then someone said keep it because you might want to wear it when you baby wear look at that genius i know i would have gotten rid of it it's perfect for this temperature yeah. be careful do you want to say something yeah. No. Is that a hug That's or? Sweet. <laughs> now she's talking. Dig in this. 
Oh, don't touch. You wanted to see your legs? Legs. Oh. <laughs> Those are pretty. Shiny. No, it's a legs. You want to show your legs? Yeah. All right. Quite the little operation going. We got Barb. There's Bear. Who knows where Lyndall is? Rach, how you feeling? Strong. This thing's pretty awesome. June bug, look at look what bears. Is it breast? He's got breast milk. It's his ice pack. <laughs> Poor bear. Lindell threw like a nut at him. Poor guy. Not the nut. Hey, yeah, not the nut that you eat. No. It's one of those nuts. Beep 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 beep. <laughs> Is he doing the stud fighter joke again? Hey ladies, there's a pull up competition, five minutes in the gym. Oh, I don't think so. In five minutes? Yes. Or how many you can do in five minutes? No, in five minutes. So, get ready. Yeah. And then we're gonna do All right, so we're almost officially done. Obviously, still need to clean up. Had a hold. We didn't hit a stud in one of the holes or one of the drills. So I had a hole I gotta fill. That'll turn white after it dries. And got that mounted. Looking pretty darn good. I need to decide what I want to do with the mat. Decisions. You're up, honey. Have you guys already gone? No, we were waiting for you. You should, that was your opportunity. You missed it. <laughs> yes, I did 100. I already did mine. Uh -huh. I did 10 with one arm. <laughs> My left arm, since I'm left-handed. You need a step stool. You're gonna have to jump. Can I use my momentum then? Sure. <laughs> it, but this doesn't look like it's very grippy. No. It's, it's not grippy at all. But it's grippy enough. Just jump. I'm afraid I, I don't want to trust it. You jump on it first. I'm I've afraid. already. You did, I did. did you jump and hang on it? Oh. Wow, you can do a pull up still? Two. Is it easier with your arms like that or you're underhanded? Uh, it's about the same. Isn't it technically easier one way than the other? Uh, try it. I used to be able to do one. Yeah, you did. You could do one. In my prime, though. I always hey, thought I underarm was, or underhand, or whatever you call it, was easier. You thought underhand is easier? Well, that ought to be real secure. Yeah, that's even less safe. <laughs> yeah, get the film going on this one. Yep. Film. Yeah, so exactly. Film? Do you have the film loaded? You get the film loaded. You got a fresh roll of film? Can I jump? Sure. We're gonna have to move the ball when you. Well, I guess you could just spread your legs. <laughs> nice. Good job. Yay! I still got it. Still got Two it. pregnancies later. That's right. You have to do another. Yeah. Try to jump from the ground and do it. Yeah. You don't need the ball. That was really close. I had it. That we need, that? we need to rewind that and do it again. <laughs> <laughs> Just stay to one side. Yeah, there you go. So, how long are you giving yourself to be able to do one pull up? From hanging? Yes. I've never been able to do a pull up from hanging. Oh, really? I think I've always had to jump into it. Okay, gotcha. Alright, let's see yours. Okay. <laughs> I tried it when nobody was around. <laughs> <laughs> what about if you jump? The extra 30 pounds I'm carrying isn't helping. <laughs> <laughs> Blow a gasket or 
hurt yourself or anything. Yeah. I need you. You shouldn't. You shouldn't overexert yourself. Oh, please. Okay, ready? One. Does that count? Yep, two. Three. Four. Wow. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. You got like 12 more in you. You stopped on nine? Ten. Impressive. Way to dig deep. Way to dig deep. Thank you. Uh-huh. All right, you going to do yours? You just saw it. I know. I... I can, we can vouch for him. He did too. He did. Well, yeah, he did. He could have done way more. Are you going to do it? I'm going to go ahead and do it. I think more. I pulled something in my shoulder. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Do the one arm? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Are you going to do it? it? Right. Did you, do you want to see me do yeah, one? Some, uh, yeah. I did it. Yeah, the tape that has Let's the pebbles on okay. it or something. All right, Dad. We're gonna, we want to see one. You, you're good for one. Show your wife, show your bride that you still got it. Don't pull anything. <laughs> Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. You can kind of jump. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's five! Five whole pull ups. <laughs> I've been doing that, and then I do. When I can't do that anymore, then I'll go to this. Uh huh. And I'll do this. I mean, it's really impressive, but it's going to make it worse. Good luck. Mm -hmm. So we're talking about diastasis recti or diastasis, diastasis recti. Or DR. Or DR. What do you call it, Dad? DR. DR. For Deutsch. German. <laughs> Deutsch, yeah. So we found out that we both have it. Dennis has it real bad. Yeah, his is worse than mine. But I'm glad you know it's that and not a beer gap. No. It, <laughs> Yeah, it's not the beer gut, it's diastasis recti. But he had surgery, so it, the surgery incision is right through where the, it's like a layer of fascia that's supposed to connect your left and your right abdominals together. And pregnancy, beer belly, or surgery. <laughs> or two of the three. Or maybe just two of the three. Or maybe a combination. Yeah. Yeah. So we figured out that that's what we both have and there are certain ab workouts you do not want to do because it'll make it worse. And so I'm just talking through some of them with dad, just based on a YouTube video I watched the other day on the do's and don'ts, because we certainly don't want to make it worse. Yeah. But it can also cause other issues besides just looking like you have a pooch all the time. Like you see, you see moms that have had babies in the past and they just constantly look a little bit pregnant. It's probably from that. So healing it not only is cosmetically better, but it helps with back pain because when your when your abs are weak right there, your pelvis tilts and your lower back takes more strain than it should when you need a strong core to like help hold your posture. So are you having back pain? No back pain. Good. That's yeah. good, because you usually do, right? Yeah, yeah. Now since I've been exercising it's hasn't been a problem. Maybe you should just keep doing planks then. And all the planks and the sit-ups and the, what do you call that, when you lay on your back and you and do your feet? Yep. Like bicycles. Yep. Yeah, bicycles, doing that. So if I'm making it, it worse, then yeah. better. Can you see it doing that while you're doing those? Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's... that's yeah, because I would look down at my feet and watch my legs and, and try to do a, the right posture and all, and I kept like looking at my belly, and I'm like, where did that come from? Where's Laurie? She should know about I this. I know, she probably does. So I guess while you're doing those things, if you can think about it and pull, not suck in, but pull in, mm -hmm. then that's better than doing it with your belly popped up like that. Because doing it with your belly popped up, I think you're using muscles that aren't your abdominals. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We need Laurie. What muscles are they? Like your obliques in your back. Because mm. your back, if you're doing that, your back is arched and if you like pull your back down flat to the floor and kind of draw your stomach in, then it won't bulge up like that. I know exactly what you're So when doing. I do a plank and if it looks like I'm in the right posture. Yeah, and it, you engage, then you shouldn't have a coning thing. But that's like on the blacklist of things to do if you have this separation. Hmm. It'll make it worse. Planks are a no-no. Are your arms long enough? <laughs> 
<laughs> Go, girl. There you go. Now she's got it. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> she's doing the roundabout. <laughs> what muscle group are you trying to work there? Traps in her Is that a real workout? <laughs> oh, gosh. What do you think, honey? Happy with the home gym? Yes. Me too. I'm excited to use it. It's funny that this isn't our first home gym like this. Do you remember in South Carolina we had one? Just the bench press? I guess it was. But no, you made a... You made a... Squat, squat rack. rack. Yeah, that thing was worthless. Uh -huh. So our old squat rack, I literally had two by fours that I cemented into a five gallon bucket and just like built a thing that would hold a bar and that was the squat rack, so it was worthless. All right, well, we're gonna end the vlog here for today. I'm glad to be done with this little project. Not quite done yet. I still probably wanna do a mirror and I don't know, maybe paint something cool. Haven't decided yet. So hit that subscribe button if you want to follow us on our journey. <sighs> Next week is Eloise's big surgery. So looking forward to getting that over with. Not looking forward to the process, that's for sure.